We all want to make a place in this world. We all want our voices to be heard. And everyone wants a chance to be someone. We all have dreams that we need to dream. The sweeter than any star you can reach. Cause when you reach and find you found someone You hold this world's most priceless thing The greatest gift this life can bring Is when you look back and know you were loved Well, the Boys and Girls Club, they've taught me a lot of things, including uh, I have better communication skills and uh, better leadership skills, and I, can't, I can work as a team better, or I work with other people good, well. And my dreams, and my, or my hopes in the future would be uh, maybe to come back and take Wayne's position as executive director of the Boys and Girls Club. For all the young boys and girls that come to the club, we, I think there's hope for them, for them to succeed in life. Uh, we give them that opportunity to, um, to get off the streets again, to be under some supervision and structure. Uh, it gives them a place that they know they can go, that people care about them, and that they can learn positive values, and in hope that as they grow up, that they'll learn to care about others. You can have diamonds in your hands, have all the riches in the land. Oh, but without love, you don't really have a thing. Oh, oh. And when somebody cares that you're alive, when somebody trusts you with the light, that's when you'll know. You have all you need. You hold this world's most priceless gift, the finest treasure that there is. And you can look back and know that you were loved. Sometimes it's a little degrading to go places, to have to ask for food whenever you can't um, provide for your family. But when I went into Outreach Ministries, everybody was very pleasant and very helpful. We were able to talk about her situation. Um, she was looking for, I, I felt like at the time that she came in, she was looking for someone to, to vent frustrations, to talk about what was happening to her and to her family because she had been receiving some of the public assistances that are available. She took a part-time job because she was made to do so, and in doing that, then they lost food stamps and they lost Medicare for the children, and this created a hardship for the, the household. It was almost like talking to an old friend when I went in. As I said earlier, she didn't you know, look down at me for not being able to provide, and she just really made me feel good. She made me feel that I was worthwhile, that I could succeed, and with a little bit of help that I would make it to the end, and I will eventually. We had not uh, seen her in our office. We um, had, she was not someone that we helped month after month after month. This was someone who was needing help today, and I think uh, Carrie will get it all together eventually, and she'll return to college and be able to provide for her family, which is what she's wanting to do. So many roads that you can take Whatever way you go Don't take that road alone It's better you should know You were loved by someone Touched by someone Held by someone been something to someone, love somebody, touch somebody's heart along the way. You can look back and
My family has had some experience of receiving some of the services provided by a United Way agency. So I have some knowledge of the services that United Way agencies provide. Our congregation has participated in two of the previous Day of Caring events. And each person that's taken part has come away feeling like they've really made a difference that day. When I was told of how former President Jimmy Carter described the United Way, I think he really did describe it best. He talked about how the Apostle Paul, when he was asked by the Corinthian church what they should believe in, he told them that they should believe in things that they couldn't see, things like love, compassion, and courage. It's the united way that helps us to see those things in our community. You can look back and say, you did okay. Because you were loved So remember to tell that special one Yes, you were loved You were loved You are loved You are loved Hi, I'm Diane Floyd, President of the United Way Board. Each year, your United Way commits itself to addressing the human needs of our community through sponsored programs such as daycare, health care, domestic violence shelters, youth programs, and programs for the elderly and disabled. Our goal is to provide hope for a better tomorrow, but that gift of hope is possible only through your valued contributions. You can give hope to so many in our community. Please, give to the United Way and start giving hope today. Yes, you.